equestrian friends it's me Lisa the budget equestrian welcome back to another video and I'm sorry I've kind of been missing in action for a while but I've been working on some videos been playing in the snow and I've actually also started another YouTube channel where I'm focusing mainly on DIY projects for your home so that way I can keep my equestrian channel all equestrian which brings me to a really fun and affordable DIY project for you today. So if you've been around my channel for any length of time, you know that I build horse jumps. I build a lot of horse jumps, but sometimes building horse jumps can be challenging and having big standards takes up a lot of space when you're storing your jumps, especially when it's like this outside and we can't be outside playing with our horses as much, especially jumping. So I wanted to share with you guys today a really affordable trick for jump bases. I'm betting you know what this is. This, well, originally this was intended to be a Christmas tree stand. And this is not an original idea by any stretch of the imagination. There's actually a website on Weebly and it's all about homemade horse jumps. And the owner of that website recommended using Christmas tree stands for horse jump bases. And I really didn't think too much about that because I build my own jump standards. But when I went to Walmart the other day, they had all of the Christmas decorations 90% off. So do you know what that means? That means this cost me 74 cents. Yes, 74 cents. So to make a pair of uh, bases for jumps, it cost me about $1.50. That is way less expensive than building the jump bases for the standards out of 2x4s and then using the caulking and the screws and all of that. Because each of these Christmas tree stands also came with the hardware to secure the tree, or in our case, a piece of wood, into the base. It's super easy and you don't even have to do this, but I figured I did want to make them look like horse jumps instead of looking like Christmas tree stands. So how about I show you how I did it? The first thing I did was take my Christmas tree stands and try to peel the label off. And these had been sitting in my garage for about three or four days and it was freezing so the label did not really want to come off. If you take a hair dryer and heat up the label, it'll actually come off really easy. Okay. So now that we know how to get the label off of the Christmas tree stand, the next thing I did was paint it. And I didn't do anything fancy. I just had this spray paint in my garage from other projects. So I decided to use it for my Christmas tree stands, AKA jump standard bases. So first I used white, and then I had some hammered metal copper-like color, I think. So I used that. And the trick to getting this to have a hammered finish is to really do a lot of paint. It doesn't run very easily, so it works good. And then I had this stone paint that kind of gives it kind of a speckly finish. So I figured, what the heck, I'm gonna use that on some of the standards as well. You can kind of see the stone speckly finish on here, but this is what it looks like up close. So it really does give some texture to the base. And then to make it easy to get these little screw eyes to turn, what I did was just take an extra screw eye and just turned it and spun it around. It made it really easy. So I didn't have any tall uprights, but I wanted to show you how to put the wood inside and how it really does stand up. So all I did was using another screw eye, screw in all of the screw eyes until it touched the wood. And once they were all screwed in, it really, really held the piece of wood very securely. So 
These are going to be great when I can actually get out and get them to use. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? And I was able to get eight bases or four pair of bases for less than eight dollars. And the spray paint didn't cost me anything this time around because I had bought it for other projects and I just had it, so I figured I'd use it. But I think my favorite part about using these Christmas tree stands for jump standards is how easy they are to stack and how much less space they're gonna take up in my jump locker. Because this is eight bases, which takes up, what, two feet by two feet. All of the screw eyes for all eight bases can sit right in there. And then I could stack the eight uprights that will go in here, right here. So I've used probably about three feet by three feet squared. If you look at right behind that, I have just one pair of four foot tall standards and they take up way more room. So this is basically eight standards. So if you multiply that, I mean, think about how much room I'm saving by using these Christmas tree stands for the bases. They aren't difficult to maneuver or move around. And if you wanna make sure that they're more secure, you can just put some sand inside of the interior part where the upright is gonna go and they're gonna be nice and sturdy. I really like this idea and it's definitely gonna be a space saver. And it was really affordable to make jump bases. I hope you found that useful. Go on over to Walmart right now or any place that has these Christmas tree stands and see if you can get them on clearance. The Walmart I went to had a bunch of them left, so I actually might go back and get some more. Like I said, you don't have to spray paint them, but I didn't necessarily want them to look like Christmas tree bases, so I spray painted mine. Thanks so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Just click on my picture down below and you can subscribe to my channel and watch all of my other equestrian related videos. Again, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.